I've been a member since day one, so I've been through all of it and seen the whole group grow and meeting new people every time I'm here. What I love about coming to 100 Guys is not only uh, you're putting um, um, some money towards a great cause, but also you meet some other people. Uh, networking obviously is great, uh, but it, it's it's also you know going home after this event and saying, hey, you know. Uh, I've done something good today and, and, and you know it's going to go to a good cause. Yeah, 100 Guys Who Care is just focused on one thing and uh, it's, it's really about you know, finding people in need in the community. And uh, the great part is, is that you know, the guys who are out there, like if I find someone or something that needs support, I can actually bring it here and pitch it. I mean, who else, who can do that? And I learned about the trauma that these families and children have gone through. Uh, they've been uprooted from their homes, they've seen death and destruction, and many unfortunately have experienced sexual abuse along the way. <clears throat> um, no wonder these young children, we try to put them in our schools and they can't concentrate. I guess I was just naive to the fact that this exists in, in our, our world, like the other issues, the child trauma and uh, the, the, the need for food, I guess it's a real eye-opener to see how much is really underneath our, 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 uh, our home, really. What we do is these are, these are homeless moms and their children that have either been sleeping in their car, couch surfing, uh, or they've been staying in a shelter. And shelter only accommodates them for a very short window of time. I really need you guys to help me launch this to the next level, complete this year's uh, funding, and the 15,000 plus will go a huge way. So thank you for your consideration. So you should have all received a yellow um, voting ballot when you signed in. If you didn't, just put your hand up and we'll get you one. Uh, we've got some pens to hand around. So the winning charity is uh, Theater Home Sweet Hope. There you go. We have to, we have to step over here. That, that was kind of obnoxious, eh? <laughs> it's your idea, dude. <laughs> What's that? So, you know Don and I, right? Yeah, 100, 100 guys who care. So we're just a couple of guys who care. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of other guys who care in the audience. I think Sean's here. There's another Sean. Uh, I saw Mark, Steve, and... Peter K. Mr. Actually, Clean is, is we've, we've, we've actually got a whole bunch of prospective members here tonight. Hundred guys at carolco.com. <laughs> hey, this is not your event. This oh, is sorry. our oh, event. Sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Um, so we are about about 150 guys who care. Um, Don, why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure, we'll be quick. Um, we are pleased to present a check for 16. It's upside, upside down. down sorry. <laughs> upside down. There we go. Sixteen thousand four hundred dollars. <laughs> Sixteen thousand four hundred. So poverty is nobody's choice. Homelessness is nobody's choice. And when you end up being homeless, it's usually that a number of things have gone wrong before that. So it's a tangle of problems, and it's therefore not solved easily. It costs us about forty thousand dollars a year to support one mum and her children while she is taking, uh, taking part in our educational program. So she's in full-time education, bettering her education so that she ends up with a diploma. So the gift from the 100 guys who care tonight, they fund six months of one of those family, everything, food, shelter, transport, her education, and everything. That's an incredible gift.